Hi everyone. Good morning. Uh, good after whatever. This is Lisa with King Worldwide and my dad Roy. Oh, we're doing great. That's going to be a it's great. It's going to be a really broadcast. great broadcast cuz we we've had some awesome fun. <laughs> Do you like the backdrop? It's uh, very nice. Uh, today we conclude our series of Kingdoms versus Systems. Yes. By focusing on choosing the right master. Satan is the god of this world. And his demonic spirits, devils, are roaming around seeing who they can influence and control. We look right here. here. Here's, the, uh, here's the first scripture. This is from the English Standard Version, 1 Peter 5 8. So, 1 Peter 5 8. Be sober minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to Did devour. Did you have to give those facial expressions? Yeah, because you'll remember it. Seeking yeah. someone to devour. They'll remember it. They'll be like, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. Roy and I, I did. 1 Peter 5, 8. Okay, that's good. One of the devil's primary targets is our soul. What's our soul? Our mind, our will, our emotions, our imaginations, okay. memory, anything that we're thinking. <clears throat> All right. Let me let me go over something that we mentioned in a previous broadcast in, in uh, Kingdom versus Systems. And this is K71. Uh, K71. Our mind, now, now pay attention to this because this is vital. Our mind puts everything in motion, words, action, etc. And what we deposit in our mind will determine our journey through life. Natural mm -hmm. world input will guide us to conform to the principles of the God of this world. Yes. Here is, and okay, let, let's do let's I forgot do to do two. Oh, that's not. No. We're doing this it, one. We're not doing, doing that. That's right. Romans and, tw go ahead, 12. Romans 12, go, 2. We'll take it over. Okay, CEV. This is from the um, contemporary English version of Romans 12, 2. Listen to this. Don't be like the people of this world, but let God change the way you think. Then you will know how to do everything that is good and pleasing to him. That is so good. It is so good. And so it's, good. It's so key. So the Bible was given to transform us mm -hmm. from a demon-controlled yes. world system. Mindset. Mm -hmm. To God's original plan for our lives. And here's the verse for that. Jeremiah 29, 11, <clears throat> And we come in a different translation again. Christian Standard Bible. For I know the plans I have for you. This is the Lord's declaration. Plans for your well-being, not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Okay. So we have a plan. God's already, uh, it's already established a plan for us. And how we manifest that plan is dependent upon how much we, what kind of a relationship and fellowship that we have with Jesus and the Father. Okay, now. We can change, I'm a good testimony of this, we can we change are. our mind by programming it to conform to thinking yes. God's thoughts. Here's the verse. Isaiah 55, 8, 9, and 11, and this is from New King James Version. For my thoughts are not you your thoughts. you got a lot of different I know, I had more time though. today, and the Lord led me to these. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. So shall my, this is 11, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void. So therefore. But it shall accomplish. Right. Therefore. What we say from God's word, it does not return void to God. So therefore, it will be accomplished. Comes to pass. Okay. Right. Sadly, most Christians' minds are saturated with worldly words that are under the jurisdiction of devils. And Lisa's <laughs> going to explain. Oh my Lord. <laughs> Just, I typed it up. I, I know. I, I, I put a note on the outline that I sent to her. I said, Lisa, please explain. Please explain contamination. And she she's got a she's got a whole book here. Okay. No, it's just real quickly. Go, go ahead. Would you read it? How about, no, no, it would no, be no. so much better if you read no, it. I want you to read it. Here, go, contamination. Go Any thoughts, words, 
images or actions that aren't in God's kingdom realm. Saying things like, and most people are going to think that this is in the realm and it's not. I can't do such and such. Or if you're in the job, my sales numbers this quarter are in the dump. You can't say that and expect to be doing well. Wait, wait, wait. Remember, as she's saying this, what we're supposed to do is to call those things that be not as though they were. Romans 4, 17. Okay. But the thing is, please do not make any excuses if you're in the workforce or a stay-at-home mom, because my mom's a stay-at-home mom, and she's doing this. I was in the workforce, and you're in the workforce. We did this. So we don't say what's in the natural. We don't say we're tired, or someone who's not married yet. Where is my husband or my wife? God promised me in his word. We don't say, where's the manifestation of my money for all the seed I've sown? We don't say, I wish I were sweet, soft, and kind like Sally is to everybody. We can admire Sally, but we don't need to say that. Why am I so unorganized? We don't this, say this that. This is volume two. Right now. <laughs> when will this country change? These are not what God says about his children. It's blasphemous to Jesus. This is it. To speak <laughs> to ourselves this way. After he paid the total price and gave us his word to read. Do we realize that? If we talk of anything other than what Jesus says about us, it's blasphemy. That's true. And, and let me say that from my own experience, this is something that one's got to give attention to every day. I had to do it yesterday. I you said, have to get in Revelation. Yeah. No. I had, I had to. I spoke. It wasn't bad. But I spoke some natural things that were present then as compared to what I wanted. And, I mean, just normal things in life. It's not, we're not talking about pornography, words, no, no, or just, anything like that. We're just talk, talking about just normal things in life. Natural. For, for, for example, uh, this was not a case, but uh, I heard this years ago from, some, from a lady that was cutting my hair. And she said this. She said, my husband said his feet was killing me. Killing him. Oh, killing and, me. And that, that's bad. But another one is that my feet are hurting me. Well, if they're hurting me, then what do you want to have to take place? For them not to be hurting you, which means my feet are healthy and they're whole. And, and someone might say, well, how the, am I supposed to talk to my doctor? How? You get in the Word and learn how to properly speak. You can do it. I well, did it. Yeah, it, and, but it's a case whereby that you've got to communicate to the doctor so that he understands as far as what you're... I don't have a problem as far as... I do. I don't. Because you can still say in the past. Yeah, you doctor, can, yesterday my feet were just blah, 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 blah. I He's agree with not that. listening to yesterday. You're watching your words... And I'm not disrespecting my no, dad. I, Everybody no, I, knows. No, I understand that. But it, it is the revelation the Lord told me. He goes, what you say is going to happen. And if is you, what you're going to get. Yes. And if you say, oh, doc, my feet are hurting, then it's deflecting. Everything you've done, is it's pulling it out. What I was what I was implying I know that. <laughs> is the fact is that you say, say your feet are hurting, but definitely say in the past. Or yesterday. My feet were hurting. Right, you and, tell them what you need to tell. Okay, so glory to so God. what steps do we take to transition from our minds being controlled by the satanic world system to the kingdom of God system? The first step is to, and the only step we're going to go over today, the first step is to realize that we know God first in his word. Friends. Because time spent... Meditating in the New Testament, particularly the Gospels, is time spent with Jesus. Here's a verse for you. Okay, it's amplified, so I don't want to talk so much. So, No, go ahead. Read. Colossians 3.16. <laughs> you don't want to talk so much. So I mean, well, this is long again. Well, how has that changed in the last two I know, two right? Minutes? Let the spoken word of Christ have its home within you, dwelling in your heart and mind, permeating every aspect of your being. That's basically the most point. The biggest point. We'll read the rest. As you teach it, admonish and train one another with all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your heart. The bottom line, let the word have its home within us, dwelling in our heart and mind, permeating every aspect of our being. On the job, in front of the doctor. Lisa recently did a broadcast entitled, I think it was Relationship with Jesus. Oh, I did, yes. And That's not on here. I know it's not. 
And I suggest you go to her site, kingworldwide.com, and and you you look up you look up that because YouTube what, you have to find it on YouTube. Okay, what she does, what she does, this point here as far as Colossians three sixteen, she embellishes it or or strengthens it or gives more support to it than what we're doing Colossians. right here. It's really yeah, Colossians hey, three sixteen. Yeah, you're welcome, honey. You didn't think I was paying attention, did you? No, because right. you didn't comment on that one. Well, it was after you finished. Glory letting, to God. Letting the word dominate our thinking. People letting, are laughing. Letting that's good. Hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> letting the word dominate our thinking is to allow the Holy Spirit to have control over our mind. Mm. Let me say that again. Letting the word dominate our thinking is to allow the Holy Spirit to have control over our mind. Yeah. John 1 tells us that Jesus is the Word. Yes. Therefore, when we spend time in the Word, we are spending time with Jesus, mm -hmm. particularly in the, the Gospels. And when our main intent, this is, a catch this, I learned this from her, this is years ago. Glory to God, Holy Spirit. And when our main intention is getting in the Word because we love God, not because we're going to get, we we're, we're we want gonna, to get to know him. That is one thing. Get well, to know him. We, we don't we don't go to his word because we want to get Anything. our stuff. Right. Right. Okay. Oh, right. And so what it is is that let me read this. And when our main intention is getting in the word is because we love God, then we will receive all of our needs, wants, and desires. True. That's why that for this ministry, King Worldwide. That's why the foundation is Matthew 6.33. Seek ye yes. first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Thank you, Lord. And all these things will be added unto you. Well, that's what that, that's the whole process is getting into the word consistently on a regular basis so that we can start transforming our mind yes. and transitioning from the world system which is controlled by, by the, the Satans, really, so the Satan and the devil, we can transition from that to our mind being controlled by the Holy Spirit. Yes. That's, that's the bridge that you go to from the world system to the kingdom of God system. But I'm going to tell you, friends, hmm. from personal experience, if we don't do it consistently, let's say on a daily basis, I'm not talking about hours a, a day right. to start with. I'm just talking about consistent. If we don't do it consistently then Satan is going to eat our lunch because is that the thoughts from the world system are going to be deposited in our mind, and that's what's going to come out of our mouth, which activates demonic spirits. Whereas when we mm -hmm. speak God's word like we talked about earlier, even if we have to say in the past, then therefore that activates our ministering spirits to go forth and minister for us. And That's the bottom line. And nobody has arrived. So it's you just practice. I've been practicing this hard, like intense. It's a challenge, and I did it on the job. And so it was fun. And it's I repent quickly if we mess up. Like when you messed up the other day, what'd you say? I repent. I repent. Yep. And then you so that is fine. It's not about perfection. It's, we want to it's walk a, with it's God. A journey. I picked here. I, I picture as far as just going up a ladder. You say going one rung at a time. You might fall back one, but you just keep going one yeah. rung at a time till you get to the top. And the top you never get to because that's perfection. But you keep going up. And you it smooths <clears throat> out. Smooths out. Have a great day. Okay. Bye. <laughs>